OK. Um, so in this example, ladies and gentlemen, if we want to go ahead and rewrite this in rectangular form, just remember that x equals r cosine of theta. So all you're simply going to do is plug in your 5, and then cosine of negative 5 pi over 3. Now, if you do not recall what negative, where negative 5 pi over 3 is, again, again, I would just like to think of is think about this. Um, we know that so that's negative. Think about this as far as being all the way around the circle is 6 pi over 3, right? Same thing as 2 pi. So if you're at negative 6 pi over 3, so that from there is going to be negative 5 pi over 3. But again, I don't really care so much about that. I just want to know how far is this away from the x-axis, which is pi over 3. And I also know it's in the first quadrant. So it's exactly the same as that pi over 3 over there. So therefore, I can say the cosine is equal to 1 half. So I have 5 times 1 half, which is equal to 5 halves. Then to find sine, I do y equals r cosine of theta. 5 times, oops, I'm sorry, sine. 5 times sine of theta, you can see sine is going to be square root of 3 over 2. Nothing I can really simplify there. So my x coordinate is going to be, or my rectangular coordinate is going to be 5 halves comma 5 square root of 3 divided by 2. Good? No? Bad? So just make sure you're comfortable with the unit circle.